motorcycles and scooters, and we've got games. It looks like Santa's workshop, albeit a little smaller. It is just like a bunch of elves. Stacking toys taller than some of the kids who will unwrap these presents Christmas Day. And just make me feel good. A simple reason, Brad Postopnik turns his office into Toyland and spends nearly $15,000 of his own money to give back to Wichichins in need. They're just normal people that are having a hard time. I'm one of them, so I'm here. Carla is first in line. She's been waiting for hours. I really want a bike for my granddaughter. And she needs two more gifts for her grandsons, who she says would get little to nothing if she wasn't here. Can I give you a hug? I think it's a wonderful thing to do, especially with the way that people are having hard times right now, unemployment, you know, people just don't have the, the finances. Nearly 400 people wait around the building. Each one can take home up to three toys. I'm a baby hack. Mommy loves cooking. I mean, they're very, very thankful. Merry Christmas. Pistopnik says he used to donate to nonprofits in town, but wanted to be more involved in the process. You need some help for this one. He started handing out toys three years ago in hopes of inspiring generosity. He says it's working. We were in Walmart and some anonymous person came up and said, I want to buy two bikes to give away and just brought them out to us. One of the same bikes Carla gets to take home for Christmas. In Wichita, Kara Sewell, Kennedy CH12 Eyewitness News.